Today we're gonna play Spoons, a fun, fast, and physical card game perfect for parties and family gatherings. Hi, I'm Chris Knuch, welcome to Playing Games. Please subscribe, comment, and like. The object of Spoons is to get a spoon. It's a knockout card game, and any player without a spoon at the end of the round is eliminated. How do I get a spoon? If you're the first person to collect four cards of the same rank, you can take a spoon from the middle of the table. Anyone else who notices a missing spoon can take one themselves. The player who doesn't get a spoon is out of the game. Spoons can be played from three to 13 players. What you'll need, a standard deck of cards and spoons, one fewer than the number of players. Setup: line up the spoons in the center of the table, making sure to have one less than the number of players. So if you're playing with four players, you'll only need three spoons. Shuffle the deck and deal four cards to each player. Place the remaining deck next to the player who will be the first dealer. The dealer will change from round to round. Gameplay. The dealer takes one card from the deck and either keeps it or passes it to the left. So what will happen is I, as the dealer, will take one card, place it in my hand. If I want to keep this card, I keep it in my hand and I can pass any one of the four cards. I can never have more than four cards in my hand, so I'll pass this and then immediately I can pick another one. Each other player takes turns in this manner. The dealer can continue to take cards at any pace they'd like, just making sure to never have more than four cards in their hand. Players continue to pass cards to their left, aiming to collect four cards of the same rank. When a player collects four cards of the same rank, they quickly take a spoon from the center, secretly. They put that spoon in front of them and continue to play as if nothing happened. Once a spoon is taken, all other players must grab a spoon as quickly as possible. Like musical chairs, the player without a spoon is now out of the game. So as you can see, three spoons have been dealt out. This player was the first player to get a four of a kind. They stole a spoon. I noticed that spoon was stolen. I took mine and this player took the last spoon. And this player didn't notice because they were so focused on their game, which is totally fine. But if you're the last person, you're out. So now we went from four players to three players. So we only put in two spoons. The spoon is now out. So now deal goes to the next person to the dealer's left, giving them the opportunity to be the first person to see the cards. The dealer initiates the next round by taking a card and passing a card. This round plays the same as the previous. As soon as one player gets four of a kind, they may take a spoon. If another player notices a missing spoon, they may also take a spoon. So this player got a four of a kind again. They took the spoon. I noticed the spoon was gone, so I grabbed the second spoon, even though I didn't have four of a kind yet. As soon as one person grabs a spoon, the floodgates are open, anybody can grab a spoon. So now we're down to just one spoon. The game continues with the remaining players until one player remains. This player is declared the winner. So now that we're down to two players, you just deal out to the last two players. Put the spoon in between the two players equally. You ready? And that's how you play spoons. Variations. You can play a variation of spoon where you're not out if you don't have a spoon at the end of a round. Instead, you get a letter. Like the game horse and basketball, you spell out a word. In this case, spoons. If you're the first player without a spoon, you get the letter S. The next letter you would get is a P, then an O, an O, an N, and then an S. And if you spell out spoons, you're out. This way you can keep the game going longer without keeping players out of the game. Spoons is an amazing reflex game using just a deck of cards and a few household objects. It's perfect for parties and family vacations, especially since it can be played with larger groups. Just remember to value the funny, silly aspects over any competitive impulses, and it's guaranteed to be an enduring favorite. Did I get something wrong or do you play it differently or just wanna say hi? Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and share to help this channel grow. Also help support this channel to keep it going with a digital donation. You are great. See you next time on Playing Games.